Hi everyone, welcome back to the Beeris Podcast. So as you can see, we are recording the video through stream. This session is going to be a Q&A session and a college student has asked this question. So the question is, Hi sir, I am a first year college student. I have planned to take education loan. Sir, now shall I put the money in fixed deposit in bank which give return 7% or put the money in bond? Loan amount is 8 lakhs. My college fees is 1 lakhs per year. Time period is 4 years. Is this a good idea? I think he's confused a bit. He didn't mention the complete details about what he want to do and the course which he is going to enroll. And uh, I want you to clarify the general rule for the students who are taking the college loan because some students will go for the entire uh, bank loan for their education and some yes. students will have their savings and uh, go for education loan, maybe 50, 60, 70% for the education loan. So what is your general advice for the students who want to take their education loan? Well, the education loan, looking at uh, the SBI website, they have education loan scheme. The rate of mm-hmm. interest, it says uh, effective interest rate is 11.15%. And mm-hmm. that is for up to 7.5 lakhs. And above 7.5 lakhs, also 11.15%. Mm-hmm. And uh, depending on the institution, the discounts. All IITs, they give a discount and the effective rate is 8%. Mm. And uh, so depends on the type of loan you're taking. And if you're going abroad to study, there are different loans. Mm. So I don't know. Like you said, I really don't know what course he's taking. Mm. And it's very confusing. So the reason why you're taking the loan is, of course, to get educated. So I mm. understand that. And you don't have the funds and education will guarantee you employment is what you're hoping for mm. and once you're employed you plan to start paying the emi mm. i think most education loans mm. they don't expect you to start paying emi till your education is over mm. once you've finished your education course which is four year course or three year course mm. then only they expect you to start paying the emi <laughs> yeah this is what i've understood if i'm right i don't know so mm. again a lot of you gave me flack for the gold uh, video where I had been honest to say that I do not mm-hmm. do chit fund gold and uh, you'll have to check with the store. All my caveat was there was do realize uh, gold companies and gold shops. The reason why they put this chit fund out there is not out of the goodness of their heart and it's not an investment company. They are a retailing gold company and they're trying to make a profit in this and there are costs hidden in it to ensure that you know they bait you into it. And if you're looking purely as an investment in gold, that's what I was talking about. So again, here's a caveat goes, I'm not a loan officer. I'm not uh, a person who's a consultant in taking educational loans. This is purely from an investment point of view. I'm looking from the outside talking and work. So in this specific question, what I've come to understand is he's got some money. He doesn't have all the money required to pay for his education. So he's got some money and he plans to take some of it as a loan. The money which he does have, he wants to know how to invest it. Yeah. So he can get some interest and use the interest to pay towards the education. My thing is, he's got some money. I would say it is better that he uses that money towards education mm-hmm. and take a lesser loan mm-hmm. than trying to do some hybrid method yeah. where he's investing some money and then he's taking a loan so if you notice there is no bond or fd you can put which will match the interest rate of the loan Mm -hmm. interest rate will always be higher than any return you can get so it is better to use whatever funds he has towards its education and lower the amount of money he needs to borrow so Mm -hmm. because he's going to be borrowing at a higher interest rate compared to the investment Mm -hmm. And that will also keep the burden on him low. Yeah. There is no guarantee that just because you finish your degree, you're going to get a job. Mm. You know, especially four years from now, how the job market is going to be. Because mm. he's saying in four for four years, he's talking about. Yeah. So my suggestion would be that and try and keep his loan at a minimum. And if he is taking loan, mm. like I said, take the cheapest loan possible. Mm. And I'm assuming if he's got parents and, you know, they've got some kind of gold, 
even a gold loan will be proving to be cheaper than taking an educational loan. These are just the ideas I'm giving. But you'll have to take a proper assessment on the amount of funds you have and the actual amount of loan you need to take. Okay. What I'm against is taking a loan and having funds for investment. I would never advise to do that. Not only for education, any loan for that instance. Let's say you plan to buy a bike and you have some extra cash. You know, use that cash to lower the loan amount is what I would say. Instead of trying to you know, invest and take a loan. Loan, if that is an option. And the only loan which would make sense in taking is something like a long-term loan, like a housing loan. Mm. You know, nobody will have one crore, two crore to put down, yeah. you know, this investment into the house. If you have the cash, I would say buy the house up front. Mm. But I doubt most of our viewers will not have so much of cash yeah. sitting around. They do have that kind of cash sitting around. They're definitely not our viewers. <laughs> so this is definitely not the channel they'll be watching. So if home loan, I understand taking it and it makes sense taking it. It is one of the lowest interest rate. Education loan does look expensive from whatever I'm seeing. So be mindful of that and uh, be careful in taking these education loans. Mm -hmm. And not all educational degrees are equal. So remember mm -hmm. that you might aspire to study something, you know, I might aspire to study, let's say, I don't know, whatever course, which may not be as employable. I don't want to stigmatize any course by mentioning it out loud. But not all courses are employable and are equal mm -hmm. in the current market. So be mindful and thoughtful that today's uh, trend in education may not be the same when you leave college four years from now. Mm -hmm. And uh, to keep that in mind, before taking these loans and taking on these burdens. With the way AI is developing and the job market is and the global scenario is and everything put together, try and think mindfully before taking on any loan for education. There are lots of people, friends who I know, who after, especially I'm assuming this is for your basic degree. Some people take a loan for their next degree. You know, they do their basic they manage to somehow fund themselves through a basic degree. Then they want to go abroad to study further. Yeah. And that degree they decide to take a loan on. Yeah. So if that is a situation, I would rather suggest that you spend one year, one, two years, you know, taking a job, saving yeah. some of the money for your uh, education abroad. Yeah. You know, let's say your education abroad is going to cost you 30 lakhs, 40 lakhs. Yeah. But you can pick up a job now where you're earning 50, 60,000 rupees and you can save that money towards your education. I would suggest that, you know, your master's degree would be more fruitful to you when you have a bit of experience also with it. And colleges also look for candidates who have a bit of experience, then freshers coming from one degree yeah. to the next. So those are kind of things to keep in mind because I really do not know what Guru Prashant or whatever his name is because he's not put full details. So I really yeah. do not know what more I can offer. But taking on any kind of loan should be done through thought process and not done as, you know, oh, I have an option to take a loan, you know. Mm. Because that loan is a burden and loans have to be repaid. And uh, be mindful of that when you're taking on these loans. Education loan also has to be repaid. And there is certain uh, flexibility in that in terms of when you start paying. But interest rates are all floating in that also. So be mindful of that is what my advice would be. Okay, and this is the last question. So how can students uh, plan to repay the loan which they bought? Well, all loans have to be repaid because it's, it's on in name, that loan. So if you fail to repay it, no matter what the reasons are, your credit worthiness goes down. In future, it will harm you, you know. You whenever you score? Civil score, yes. Mm -hmm. That's your credit worthiness. Okay. In future, any financial dealing, they will think twice about doing any business with you because you're not being credit worthy in the past. That's the same reason why India went and dropped the gold in the Bank of England as a security when Indian capability was questioned way back in the 90s. We did a video about that. Now the RBI is bringing that gold yeah. back to India. So credit worthiness is very important. So do remember that you have to repay more, especially educational loan. 
and educational loan when you repay some other student in the future will be using what you are repaying to educate mm -hmm. themselves you know first if you go as an npa you are robbing some other student okay. the opportunity to educate themselves because you are, don't feel like paying it back mm -hmm. so keep that in mind especially in the us they look for loan forgiveness and all that students in india we don't have that loan mm -hmm. forgiveness but you should try and repay these loans and my suggestion would be as soon as you finish your education pick up the first job you get and start repaying the loan as soon as possible and uh, not to postpone paying these loans because it will be on your name no matter what you do yeah. and taking any kind of uh, credit after that will be very difficult let's say you fail to pay your education loan and sitting on your sibil tomorrow 5 years later your job is doing great and you just didn't bother and it's been sitting yeah. you decide to take a home loan you decide to take a credit card you know mm -hmm. all of this will become a nightmare for you mm -hmm. down the road you know when you're young you're foolish and you mm -hmm. think ah who cares you know your loan and all that nonsense <laughs> but mm -hmm. you get old that your loan doesn't work you know mm -hmm. you can't go say i was at the time i was young and i was foolish cost is a cost and it'll always be on your there so i'd always suggest repay your loans especially if you're a student as soon as you get employment start repaying them and they think that nobody is asking me so why should i pay that and they get into their mentality uh, nobody is questioning me so why should i pay and when they yeah. need the loan it will back pay them correct and also remember when you're doing the course you're not doing a free course you know mm. you don't get sucked into different things when you're studying you know influenced mm. into doing stupid things because you are already on pressure because you've taken a loan for this education so there is that much more important that you study hard and you you know do well and get yourself a job that you don't do your low and think life is great and you know get carried away with college nonsense not everybody in college is in the same burden as you mm. there we have some students who are there who are having a free ride you yeah. know their father their mother has put them into college or uncle is paying the bill and you know they are sitting happy you are not in that boat mm. you need to work hard and study hard and make sure you do well because you need to repay this mm -hmm. you are already on a borrowed time so you don't want to do that keep that also in mind yeah so i hope that this video is informative and uh, next time when a question is being posted in the comment box uh, so mention the complete details so, so we'll be able to answer them better so if you found this video informative please share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel for more videos See you in another episode with an interesting topic. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you.